Microsoft Fabric provides a one-stop shop for all the analytical needs. It covers the complete spectrum of services including data movement, data lake, data engineering, data integration and data science, real-time analytics, and business intelligence. In this video, we are going to use the Lakehouse end-to-end -end scenario published in the Microsoft Fabric learning page. The link is available in the video description. We will import some data into Fabric and show how to process it using Spark Notebooks and Data Flows Gen 2. Then a star schema data model is created and finally a sample dashboard. The first thing we need to do is create a workspace within Fabric. Go to Workspaces tab and click on New Workspace. Enter an available name. It must be unique. Click on Apply. Open the workspace settings and go to the premium tab. In my case I am using a trial license, but you will be able to buy fabric capacity in Azure. In workspaces, you create collections of items such as lake houses, warehouses, and reports. From the workload switcher located at the bottom left of the screen, select data engineering. Select lake house to create a lake house. Enter a name of your preference in the name box. Click create. The new lake house will be created and automatically opened. Click on New Data Flow Gen 2. Select Import from Texture CSV file. We have previously downloaded a sample data file. Check the Upload File radio button. Click on Browse and select your sample file. Note your user is shown at the bottom once the file is uploaded. Click on Next to preview the file. Click on Create to proceed and return back to Dataflow Canvas. Change the name of the query and the properties. From the ribbon, select Add Data Destination and select Lake House. Click on Next. Navigate to the WWI Lake House in your workspace. Select the new table setting and enter the table name of Dimension Customer. Select Next. On the Choose Destination Settings, select Replace as Update Method and click on Save Settings. This will return you to the canvas of the data flow. Without any changes, click on Publish. The spinning circle next to the Dataflow's name will indicate publishing is in progress. Click on the ellipsis and select Properties to rename the Dataflow. Enter the name and select Save. Click on Refresh now to kick off execution of Dataflow and to move the data from the source file to Lakehouse table. Go to the Lakehouse and notice Dimension Customer Delta table has been created. Click on SQL Endpoint under Lake Mode. Click on New SQL Query. Let's count the number of rows of every buying group. Run the query. Rename the query. In the Artifact view of the workspace, click on WWI Lakehouse Default Dataset, which gets created automatically with the same name of the Lakehouse when you create it. Click on Auto Create under Create a Report. Our BI infers the table as a dimension and creates a measure for the row count and aggregates it across different columns. Click on Save to store your report. Now let's import some data with a pipeline switching to the data factory workload. Click on Data Pipeline. Enter a name. Add a copy activity. Let's rename it. In the source in our case, we are going to use an external file. Click on New. Select Azure Blob Storage and click Continue. We are using a file provided in the tutorial. You can use your own sample file. Enter the file details and click on Create. Add the corresponding container and directory in the file path. Leave all the other default values. In the destination, select the lake house. Let's write the imported data as files. Specify the files directory. 
Click on Save button under Home to save all these details and click on Run to kick off execution of this pipeline and its activity. Monitor the execution of the pipeline and its activity using the Output tab. We can close some tabs. Let's open the Warehouse Explorer. Notice a new folder Y raw data has been created and data for all the tables have been copied in it. We already downloaded the sample notebooks from the tutorial webpage. Change to the Data Engineering Workload perspective. Select Import Notebook from the new section at the top of the landing page. Select Upload from the Import Status pane. Select both downloaded notebooks and click on Open. Go to Items view of the workspace and see these newly imported notebooks. Click on the Lake House to open it. Click on Open Notebook, Existing Notebook. Select the 01 Create Delta Tables and click Open. The notebook is already linked to the Open Lake House. There is no cluster to start, welcome to Microsoft Fabric. We are enabling Verdi Parquet and optimize write features using the Spark configuration. Click on Run All. We are reading data from the Files section of the Lake House, adding some additional columns, and partition the data before writing it as a Delta table. We are using an array containing the table names to iterate our source files and create the dimension tables. We can now expand the target folder and see the newly created dimensions. Let's open the second notebook. Here we are going to apply the same Spark configuration as before. We can use PySpark to join and aggregates data for generating business aggregates. We can also use Spark SQL to perform a similar task. Execute the notebook. Refresh the tables to see the changes. The next task is to create our data model. In the lake house mode select the SQL endpoint. Then click on the model tab. Define the relationship between the fact table and the dimension tables using the appropriated keys. Note like the diagram is refreshed every few seconds. Let's speed it up as fast as fabric. Click on New Report to start creating a dashboards in Power BI. Click on Text Box to add a title. Adjust it as you wish. On the data pane, expand fact sales and check the box next to profit. Convert the visual to a card. On the data pane, expand fact sales and check the box next to profit. Expand Dimension City and check the box for Sales Territory. Invert the column chart into a bar chart. Click anywhere on the blank canvas and select the Stacked Area Chart Visual. Expand Fact Sales and check the box next to Profit. Expand Dimension Date and check the box next to Fiscal Month Number. On the data pane, expand dimension stock item and drag buying package into the legend field. Click anywhere on the blank canvas. On the visualizations pane, select the stacked column chart visual. On the data pane, expand fact sales and check the box next to profit. Expand dimension employee and check the box next to employee. Select File, Save. Enter a name for the report and click on Save. And that's all.